Hey you guys, this is Justin Figueroa with Thrustflight and today we'll be talking about the Redbird Simulator. The Redbird Simulator is an advanced aviation training device. So it's nice to have in your school. You're able to go through flows, you're able to practice safety, and in these simulators you're able to then do what you basically can't do in the sky. And what I mean by that is there's so much more intensity when you're in the aircraft, uh, there's so much going on, and if you could actually practice the flows inside the simulator, it helps to teach the student how to do it without their brain being scattered. So in the simulator, it's actually nice. The one that we have is a FMX Redbird simulator. And what it has is actually tilting motion. So as he, they pitch up, the simulator would actually go up and also roll and bank as well. The cool thing about it is we could actually change the weather. We could actually add crosswind. We could add thunderstorms as they're flying, right? We could put them in a whole different state or a whole different county, right? Like that's the cool thing about these simulators is we could make situations happen. Like for example, we have emergencies in the sky and in an emergency, usually a student will get a checklist and they're like, oh, this one, this one. They kind of panic and don't have like a flow. Well, here is a case where we could pull an engine, we could pull circuit breakers, we could make emergencies happen. And then as the plane is sinking, well, they're in a simulator and it's fully still immersive, right? So you still have all the screens and you have the rattling of the plane as it's coming down and the pitching and the banking. But now they have the time to actually think and go through a flow. So when they get in the aircraft, now that flow is so concrete that it makes it that much easier. So here in the sim, we actually have a pause button. So let's say we're in the aircraft together right now. If we're in the aircraft, you can't just pause and then talk about what just happened, right? You can't just discuss, hey, this is what you did wrong, this is how you fix it. Uh, we would have to wait till we get off the plane and then we may have forgot about all the stuff that we talked about or miss uh, critical things. So here in the sim, you actually press that pause button, stop life for a second, talk to each other, and then get right back into it just by unclicking that pause button, which helps so much as a CFI. So the really cool thing about the sim is you could have that sensation of when you're pitching up and pushing down the nose towards the ground, towards the runway to come in for a landing. If we turn up the volume, you could actually hear the sounds of the aircraft and the push of the aircraft down, you could feel the motion of it. So at least you have a good feeling in your stomach. So when you do go in the aircraft, it, there, it's not a new feeling. You already have that feeling. Now, there's a lot of simulators out there. But the good thing about the Redbird here with us is the motion, right? So a lot of other simulators are just a laptop screen, a desktop, and you're just messing it. If it was like if you're just doing um, like a game at home, this one is fully immersive. Okay, so we fly out of Addison, right? The crazy thing about this sim is you could actually instantly just snap your fingers and we could place a student in Alaska. Right now, the density altitude in Alaska is totally different. So now the conditions change for the aircraft. But the only way you adjust for it is in the aircraft as far as putting the mixture down and adjusting for those conditions. But we are not able to do that out here, right? We only have sunny weather and occasionally some crazy weather, but we don't have no snow or things to prepare our students for other tasks and other weather conditions. But in the simulator, it's so flexible that you could change the weather, the winds, the altitude. I mean, anything you could possibly think about, it is capable in this sim. So here at Addison, we have two simulators and then one in Denison at our other location. Uh, the cool thing about those simulators that we have, we just could stick them right in the corner of our showroom or in the, in the classroom as well. And that really helps our students be able to just jump in the sim and then right into the flight right after. So a student of mine before her first flight we practiced the simulator, you know, many times before she was ready to get sim checked out. And she prepared herself for the motion as far as coming down and the actual, the round eye and the flare all together that when she got in the plane, she was not afraid at all because she already felt that motion, that, that feeling of coming down in the aircraft. So when she got in the aircraft, she thought that, oh, this is going to be a different feeling. But it actually, like, it went apple to apple as far as being the comparison as how it felt from the simulator to the plane. So that's how much of an impact it helps our students and for ourselves, for our instructors as well. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video on going over the Redbird Simulator. 
Uh, if you guys are interested in joining the Zero to Airline program, just click on the description down below. And please like and subscribe. Help us out, please.